Hey everyone, so this is Catfish Season 9, Episode 11, called Alexis and James. Alexis, is, Alexis doesn't write in herself. Um, it's a friend, Emily, who writes in. Um, so Emily's 22, um, from Ohio. Um, and so she's writing in, like I said, for Alexis, who has been talking to this guy named James for the past five years and met him on Tumblr. So Alexis was supposed to meet him up, meet up with him one time, but he ghosted her. And not only did he ghost her, but he ghosted her, ghosted her for six months afterwards. So, um, we find out that she wants to move, um, to Canada to be with him because he lives in Canada. So, they get Emily on Zoom. Um, so she explains, you know, Alex seems to make excuses for why he hasn't really, um, why he hasn't video chatted or even talked on the phone with her. Um, and the reason why she believes the reason why Alexis believes James's excuses is because of her being bullied. Um, so Emily gives like gives them Alexis's number to call her um, and then get her on Zoom. Um, and then Emily gets off the Zoom. So, um, Alexis explains that she moved to where she, to the city she, um, uh, met Emily in, um, in the middle of her sixth grade year, um, in middle school. But she got bullied quite a bit, um, to the point that she felt that she had to be homeschooled, um, and for a while, the only person she really talked to was Emily. So she eventually found her way to um, Tumblr, where she met James. So they talked on there for a bit before they exchanged their Facebook pages and um, phone numbers and stuff like that. So we find out James is actually a trans man um, and is going through the process of transitioning, among other health issues, before he wants to move in with her um so she shows him, them his facebook and tumblr message facebook page page and tumblr page messages for getting on zoom and sending them sending everything that she knows about him to uh neve and cammy so they then start their investigation with the instagram page on one of his posts he sees a woman named they see a woman named Michelle wrote a comment on one of his pictures. Um, so they send her a message, then run the photos that they got from um, Alexis. So they don't find anything that comes back on that uh, on those photos. Um, and then they get a message from Ms. Michelle, call on a number that she sends them. Um, and finds out that she she's only talked to James through text message and DMs. Uh, she also explains that he sent her gifts as well. Um, so once they get off the phone, Cammy is like thinking, you know, what if Alexis is blowing the relationship out of proportion and all they have is a friendship and all that stuff. Um, so they then check his Facebook page realizes um, every single picture she has comes from that page. So they then comment on one of the, they see a comment on one of his posts uh, for from this girl named Asthma or As Asthma or I, I mean A S M A. Um, so they go to her profile see, and see that there's not only J Moon profile that Alexis had uh, has as a friend but another profile uh, named JJ. Um, so they check that profile, message this Asimo girl, then Google the address that Alexis has, which comes back to an apartment building. Um, and so, let's see. Um, they then get a, a message from Asimo who gets on the phone with, um, them, um, and explains that 
like, you know, we're friends, uh, or we used to work together, and that's how we know each other. So, Neve's like, well, has he talked about any of his friends who live in Ohio? And she's like, well, are you talking about Nate? And so, they're like, well, who's Nate? She's like, Nate is his boyfriend. So, suddenly, then, Asma has to go back to work. So, they see if Nate is on any of his profiles, but don't see anything. Um, Cammy then wonders, like, well, is this girl that we just talked to behind both profiles? And she's, and she's the common link between the two. So, they get Alexis back on Zoom and explain everything they found. Um, and she's like, well, I already knew about the second profile. Um, and the first one um, was before he came out as trans. And the second one is for after the fact. Excuse me. Um, so then they decide to just message James on Facebook um, and decide to leave the night to see if he responds. Next day, Neve has a message from James claiming he isn't sure he is ready to tell Alexis the entire truth. Um, so Neve responded back um, and he notices that James has seen the message but not replied back so they get Alexis back on zoom tell her what he texted them um and try texting him again um so he's like he replies back and says he will get on zoom he gets on it's actually him um and he explains well the reason why I haven't really talked on the phone or um gotten video chat is because I have body dysmorphia and I've only come out as trans in the last year and a half to two years so the relationship he had with Nate was uh he started back in November of 2020 um and it lasted for like three or four months so he recently just got out of a relationship um so he was like well why haven't you really confirmed where you and Alexis are in terms of your relationship like is it just friendship is it, is it relationship why haven't you done that um and the reason jay or uh, um jay gives because he prefers to go by jay um doesn't really seem right to neve because he seemed jay seems to flirt with alexis but keeping an relationship with the guy a secret. So they talked to Alexis alone for a moment, saying, well, you're incredibly beautiful and sexy and, and fun, and I feel like you should be more assertive. So when they get Jay back into the room, Zoom Zoom call, Zoom room with them, she's she pretty much is like, she does get assertive and like, look, um, what do you feel for me? Uh, and do you want to be in a relationship with, an exclusive relationship with me? He says, well, I'm in love with you, and I do want to be in an exclusive relationship with, with you. So, there's, that's pretty much the entire episode. Um, we find out after filming, they're still together, and Jay is on the verge of, um, having transition surgery, um, after the fact, and, um, they're excited to meet up for real um, this time once COVID restrictions between the U.S. and Canada uh, lifts. Um, so, I mean, it was an okay episode. I wasn't necessarily, I, I thought for a second, you know, there could be um, a plot twist where uh, that girl Asma was behind the po two profiles. So, I mean... It was an okay episode. Uh, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it either. Um, I mean, it was just a standard episode um, of Catfish um, that, I mean, it felt like episodes past where, um, you know, um, uh, when Neve was, or not Neve, uh, because he's so long, when Max was, he used to be on, um, so, yeah, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't love it, I didn't hate it either, just just ended episode, um, next week's episode, though, uh, 
next week there is Diana and Lanice. Diana or not Diana, um, Dion and Lanice. Sorry, Dion has been talking to Lanice for two years, um, and sometime during the investigation, you know, they get a message from a person who looks like a lot like the person in the photos um, that Dion has of Lanice. Um, and they find out that Dion was potentially, and it seems like more than likely, talking to Lanice while in a relationship at first. But somewhere along the line, he got out of that relationship. So I have actually two, maybe two and a half predictions um, for next week because <laughs> it looks messy. Um, something tells me Dion is... 30 years old or older, like, I, and I, I kind of get the vibe that he's, like, 30, between, like, 33 and 35, um, and also, like, kind of, this is where the, kind of, like, the two-parter, like, the two-and-a-half sort of prediction comes in, uh, something tells me Lanice isn't the person in the photos, and it's actually someone who he knows, um, and I assume it was the person he was in a relationship with when he first started talking to Lanise. Um, perhaps it's, perhaps, you know, Dion has, uh, in his past relationship, he, um, had a child with the woman he was previously in a relationship with, and he may have even cheated on um, her previously. And so in order to kind of catch him in the act again, she made this Lenise profile. And they eventually broke things off, but she never stopped using that Lenise profile. And so... Um, This whole profile was a way to get back at him, I guess, for all the crap that he put her through. Um, I mean, that that's kind of like the vibe I'm getting <laughs> from that little teaser we saw at the end of the episode. Uh, so, I mean, I'm kind of sprinkling some, some predictions in here for a change. Um, sorry for the wait in this video today. Um, for one, um, I had sort of a family emergency last night, so I didn't get to watch it last night. And kind of two, um, I'm watching uh, Love Island US, the US version, version um, and that started um, like a week or two ago. So um, it's on at like 8.30, uh, 8.30, uh, nine o'clock uh p.m my time so um i've been kind of watching that the last few weeks uh, um i probably wasn't gonna be able to watch uh catfish uh last night anyway um but um i definitely wasn't able to watch the episode until like 15 minutes ago like or finished the episode f until 15 minutes ago so um but yeah, let, next week looks pretty interesting. Uh, it looks messier <laughs> than this episode um, that we got last night. So um, I'll uh, try to get this up um, maybe hopefully Wednesday uh, next week or, or another video, the, the catfish video up next week on Wednesday. If not, then I'll try to get it up. Thursday, um, if I don't get to watching it until Wednesday night, um, but until then, I will see you guys next time.